Yo, what's happening guys? Scotty G here. Been away for a while, but uh, you know I'm back. Um, before I did go away, um, I done the decent thing and you know stepped up and apologised to Decker Heggy because you know I realised um, I put a lot of thought into it and uh, I was ashamed of myself because I've lived by, I've tried to live by a code you know in my life um, and grasses and nonces are the scummest of the earth but unless I see it in black and white or I've seen it from your own eyes it's skeptical you know so I broke them rules and I take responsibility for them, that's why I apologise to Decker Heggy, you know, so I'm glad he accepted my apology and um, you know, if he's still up for it, we could do a podcast together, you know, um, I know Decker said some harsh things, he was well in his rights, you know, um, but there is a bit more to me Decker you know, um, from being 16, I trained as a commercial heating engineer, uh, which I was successful at, you know, I trained from 16, well from school, um, I gave up the chance of being a, a professional golfer, you know, um, which some people might not think is true, but believe me, you know, it was. And I've had one lesson, natural talent. Um, and I played one of the best players who is now a pro, Andrew Minigan. I played him at the bridal path on the junior team. Um, I believe I was 15 years old when he was 17 and uh, he beat us by three holes, you know, the weird club. Um, also I played um, the professional on the senior team who worked in Parkland's golf club giving lessons um, where I was off six at the time, he was off two he was a bigger hitter than me and I was considered quite a big hitter but match play was my forty and I took him right round and beat him on the last hole you know um, and like I said I never had one lesson you know I've won various things as long as drive 330 yards um, what I used to be very like, good at was judging distances, you know, um, and my perfect conditions was like early in the morning, damp, well not too damp, but I could stop the ball dead, you know, I was big hitter, you don't need to be big to be a big hitter, it's all in the ro rotation of the hips in a fast swing which can be very, uh, you know, you've got to get it precise because when Tiger Woods was just coming up I modelled my swing on him and you get it right, it does the job, you know uh, and there was a bit of controversy, you know, I, um, I was playing in a competition where I was a junior and there was men in it and uh, I was basically obliterating this guy and he tried to disqualify us and you know there was controversy and my dad tried to argue it but it didn't hold up but it just goes to show you you know men grown men you know I was 14 at the time you know um, I was the captain of the junior team were a new junior team, you know, I was off 10 at the time and I was playing against a, a three handicapper 
you know, who was working in the pro shop at Parklands at the time for for Ark at all. And on the first green at Parklands, he drove the, the par four first hole. But I persevered and took him right round the course and beat him on the last hole. You know, so um, yeah. I do regret not taking it further, but all my mates decided not to uh, carry it on, you know. Um, you know, many people have said, you know, I quite like when I went out, I played some funny old play, like really, really tough places. And people were saying, you know, you can hit your three to four, five irons than like the semi pros here are hitting their drivers, you know, accurately. You know, but you've got to have a good short game as well, you know. Um, but yeah, match play was really good for me. I've got a few trophies. Uh, one for stable fight, target golf. Uh, I got down uh, one handicapper when I was 15. And um, you know, I'm not going to mention who it was, but my clubs were top flight magna and they cost 275 pounds for the irons and i had a hundred pound ping putter and someone close to us spoiled got a thousand pound callaway irons and the drivers bag everything and it didn't make a heap of a difference and it frustrated him, you know. But, uh, yeah, you know, there was a lot of jealousy, you know, how they, people have been, you know, you know, have been backstabbed and everything, but there's been one person who has never ever backstabbed me in my life. And that was the most important per person in my life. My girlfriend, well, ex-girlfriend, but she's been my rock. She's an amazing woman, intelligent, strong, ambitious, fantastic, one of a kind. You know, and who knows? You know, maybe if I'd stuck at it, I'm, I'm, I'm maybe would have turned pro. You know, if, to be honest, if I could be a professional, you know, out of you know, see a footballer, Formula One driver, and a golfer, Formula One driver all day long, the rush. You know, I've driven an F1 simulator that gives you the G going 180, 90 miles an hour, you know. And, you know, Lewis Hamilton's a hero of mine, Isaiah and Senna. Um, and he's going to beat Max Verstappen this year and get his 8th world title. You know, because Lewis, Lewis Hamilton is the best driver of all time. Best driver of all time. You know, I d I've done a few go kart, um, you know, tracks. But you know, I've got a theory. You know, um, obviously we've got Formula Four, Three, Four. What about the Formula Five? Right. Where we do eight races, but two races a weekend, two qualifying, and the major teams produce this Mercedes, 
Red Bull, Ferrari, McLaren. Audi, Honda, and Renault. Uh, I mean, I don't believe we, uh, we should drive the, we could drive the uh, hybrid cars, the 1.6s, but something similar with the curve system, the halo. And I would love to drive from Mercedes, you know. Definitely. Because there would be no greatest pleasure in get, uh, me being a Formula One driver getting that rush. Silverstone going flat out 180 mile an hour onto the Hangar Street doing 220. You know, I am 37 years old, but Lewis is 36. But we're a younger generation, you know. And this Formula 5 could be really good. I've, you know, I have had the chance to speak to Toto about it. He's willing to back me. So is Lewis Hamilton. And for me, Lewis Hamilton is the greatest of all time. The greatest of all time. You know, don't get us wrong, Max Verstappen is a phenomenal driver. But, Lewis, you know, we've all got our, you know, what our favourites, what heroes. Lewis is what is mine. And I, and I yet and Senna. It speaks for itself, you know. Hundred and odd pole positions, hundred and odd wins, most podiums. I believe he's won it every single track on the calendar. You know, and you know, I've got into confrontations about peop about people who have criticised him for standing up for what's right about Black Lives Matter. You know, my girlfriend is mixed race. And, you know, I come from Greek descent myself, on my father's side. And this is ridiculous, you know. Ignorance. We're all as one. You know? So. But I'm back on YouTube, you know. I want to get the following up even more. And. If we could, Formula 5 could be great, you know. If possible, we could start, you know, like with Formula 1, you know, at Bahrain, Baku, Catalonia, Monaco, French. Silverstone, Belgium, 